a few weeks ago, I did a live stream talking about what to do with my uninhabited 125 gallon tank. So what I've decided to do is turn this into a Lake Tanganyikan tank. I've really enjoyed the Lake Tanganyikan fish I've kept in the past. So if you go back in the past videos, you will find that I did have a 75 gallon a Lake Tanganyikan tank with some Cyprochromis at one point and some black calvis. So let me go ahead here and walk you through it. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, hardscape first. Uh, obviously you got the sand bottom. Uh, the background is a DIY background I made out of the spray foam. Um, I'll go ahead and put a card in here for the video that I made on how I did that. And then if you look at the rock work itself, uh, if you go to the back corner in the, the darker section, some of those rocks that are back there uh, were the rocks that I collected with my children uh, back a few weeks ago. Uh, that video came out last Sunday. So definitely uh, check that out if you haven't. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, my daughter did a lot of the camera work and a lot of the narration for it. It's definitely fun to go out and do that with her, uh, share that experience with the kids. So uh, thank you guys for all your kind comments on that. So if we look, uh, we did plant some jungle val in here. I do like using jungle val in a lot of my different African cichlid tanks. I find it stands up well. Uh, a lot of the fish really leave it alone. It also kind of gives a nice look to the tank. I know there's not a lot of plants in Lake Tanganyika itself, uh, but I do like the effect that plants do have on the filtration and add a little bit of greenery to the tank. And then obviously uh, we do have the shells in here. You won't be able to see it, uh, but way in the back there you do have the Fluval E300 heater. Uh, so I am going to try to target to keep this tank up in the uh, high 70s in terms of temperature. The species that we are keeping in this aquarium will require excellent water quality. To maintain that water quality, I've set up the filtration two different ways. Uh, I do have a AquaClear 70 on here. Uh, it's kind of hidden in the corner. That will provide the filtration for now. And then I actually still did plumb this up for a sump. So if I did want to do a sump at some point, I can go ahead and... Uh, sump this tank as well. Along with the plants, I do think we have a pretty solid filtration plan for this tank. Uh, one thing I did want to do with the lighting is kind of create a light zone and a kind of a darker zone, which I was able to do with two aqua neat lights. So let's get on to the fun part and talk about the fish. All right, so now we're looking at my Lamprologus Ornatopinus Kagoma. Uh, if you watched the unboxing video uh, a few weeks ago, we did unbox these fish from Sand City Cichlids. Uh, this is definitely a fun, uh, beautiful little shell dweller species. Uh, definitely patrol the bottom. Uh, there are six of these guys in the tank. So looking forward to seeing these guys grow up. But uh, let's go ahead and spend a moment and uh, just watch them do their thing. The second species in here are the Cyprochromis leptosoma yellowhead and conde. Uh, definitely a cool species as well. I really do enjoy Cyprochromis. So they are kind of the rainbow fish of the cichlid world, uh, as noted by some other members of the YouTube community. They are starting to show a little bit of color on the fins. I can see some of them having a little bit of the uh, black markings on the fins. Um, I did get these from Sand City Cichlids as well. So really excited to grow my community here of the Cyprochromis. You know, like we did with the other fish, uh, just spend a minute here and enjoy them. So this tank was definitely a lot of fun to put together. Uh, it did take a little bit of time, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, really looking forward to seeing the Cyprochromis uh, color up and get big. Also looking forward to getting some more shell dweller fry. So there are definitely some things I am going to keep working on with this tank. I do really want to go out and get some more rocks, uh, go back to the river, uh, take the kids along for another adventure. Uh, so that probably will happen sometime here in the near future. Because the Cyprochromis um, are dependent on good water quality, I probably will end up turning the sump on and using the hang on back filter as sort of a water polisher. All in all, this tank was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, it did take a little bit of time, but I am really happy with the outcome. It also did take me a while to decide, uh, just to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. 
But I'm um, really happy to have some Cipacromas back in the fish room. Have a uh, pretty nice looking Lake Tanganyikan tank. So I do hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this tank and uh, checking out what I decided. Um, if you guys have any stocking ideas or any suggestions, uh, definitely go ahead and leave those in the comments. Uh, they're always appreciated. Uh, so that being said, uh, this is our first time meeting. And uh, you haven't had a chance to check the channel out. Uh, go ahead and check out some of the other videos. If you like what you see, uh, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Do the notification bell. Uh, so you don't miss any further updates. Uh, so that being said, uh, stay safe out there, stay fishy, keep on breeding, and we will catch you guys on the next video.